on to sample problem number 2 involving eccentricity loaded derived connections. So, yan. Uh, sample problem number 2 with this figure, uh, inclined uh, eccentric load with 6 rivet connections. So, yan. Meron na tayong mga, kapag tawag dito, dimensions na nakalagay ng mga kailangan natin. Nilagay ko na rin kung saan yung G dahil, hmm? Uh, kung titignan nyo, symmetrical, meaning ang ating G ay matatagpuan sa gitna mismo. So, sa center. And may eccentricity tayong 300 mm. Same question from the figure, diameter 22 mm. Determine the following. Yun ulit, shear stress due to load only. Most critical rivet. Shear stress due to moment alone. And maximum shear stress. Same procedure, kagaya ng una. Medyo may mababago lang na konti. So, yan. Proceed to... Uh, number one. Sa so number one, ganito, due to load alone, same lang din. Kaso, uh, wala naman atang kaso dyan. Wala. So, yun pa rin. P prime is equal to P over A. Ang P natin is 160 kilonewton. So, 160 divided by 160 divided by 6 Ayan, is equal to 26.67 kN and solving for shear stress due to load alone is Fv is equal to P prime over A, 26.67 times 1000 to convert to newtons, all over pi over 4 times 22 squared, which will give you an answer of 70.13 MPa. So 70.13 MPa is your final answer in number 1. So, next, ang hinahanap na sa susunod na problem, uh, sa susunod na question, is the most critical rivet. So, dyan is, kakailangan din ulit natin maglagay ng arrows, arrows, kailangan yan, para makuha natin yung most critical rivet. So, kung titignan ko, para sa akin, dahil ano, may, uh, medyo kabisado ko naman to. Malalaman ko na agad kung saan yung most critical rivet, just by looking at it. So, sa inyo, so, gawin natin yung uh, conventional, uh, I don't know what the term, the, the right term is. Basta, kunin natin by using the uh, mag drawing tayo. Drawing. So, yan. Lagyan ko ng parang Cartesian plane with G as the center, 0, 0. Yan. Lagyan ko ulit ng ganyan para mas madaling tignan. So, kung titignan nyo ang ating eccentric load is magmo-moment pa rin, pa-clockwise uh, pa, pa rin. So, ang ating kailangan gawin, ang ating mga resisting couple, ang ating mga resisting force, dapat naka-counter-clockwise. So, yan. Sulat natin, drawing natin, ang arrow dito is pa ganyan, sa 2 is ganyan, 3 is downward, 4 is upward, 5 is, ayan, and 6 is ganyan. Yan. So, naka-form tayo ng counterclockwise resisting couple, yan ang magre-resist sa moment na uh, mangyayari due to the eccentric load na 160 kN. So, yan. So, ipapakita rin natin yung uh, resisting forces due to load alone. So, yan. So, kung titignan nyo dito, makikita nyo si 1 sa ang resisting moment sa 1 at resisting force is uh, in in opposite direction. So, mag-counter flow siya. Uh, magiging minus. So, in, mas malit yung kalalabasan. Dito sa number 2, uh, upward, upward. Kaso, yung pagka-upward niya is uh, not the same as the blue one, the blue arrow. So, Yan. Sa pangatlo, upward and downward. Sa pang-apat, apat, uh, upward and upward. Kaso yung isa is uh, directly upward, vertically upward. Yung isa is inclined upward. So, yung sa number 5, inclined upward and inclined downward. And the last one is the same, uh, the same position as inclined upward. So, yan. Kung titignan nyo dahil incline upward silang pareho, which has, uh, which, which are uh, parallel, ba More on parallel sila dahil magkasa, magkapareho silang papuntang east direction ba to? Uh, 
sa kanan, basta ka, papunta siyang kanan. So, kung titignan nyo, siya yung may pinakamalaking bigat na dadalhin. Siya yung ma magiging critical. So, uh, as you can see, dito sa figure na to, makikita nyo na ang most critical rivet natin is yung sa rivet 6. So, kung titignan nyo rin, di ba? Dito, lagyan mo ng bigat, tas paikutin mo. Alin ang unang bibigay ka? Di ba? Uh, kung titignan nyo naman is yung pang-anim agad. yung 6 rivet. So, yung ganyan lang yung mag-analyze ng ating uh, most critical rivet. Ayan. So, most critical rivet is rivet 6. Next, due to moment alone. Ayan. Due to moment alone before that, isolve natin ito, ang vertical load ng iset, eccentric load. Dahil naka-incline siya, di ba? Kunin natin yung vertical and horizontal load niya. So, sa vertical load, 160 times 3 Over 5, Pythagorean theorem, 3, 4, dito is 5. So, 3 over 5 is equal to 96 kN. So, hindi ko na masyadong i-explain to ha. Dahil try ko lang naman to. Nawakadali lang naman. So, kung nahilo kayo ganyan, balikan nyo ang try ko nyo. So, yan. Yan lang ang mapapayo ko sa inyo. Next, kunin natin ang ating horizontal load ng eccentric load na to. Which is 160 times 4 over 5. is equal to 128 kN. So, kukunin natin ang moment, hindi ba? So, kukunin natin ang moment nito papuntang center. So, uh, 96 kN times 300 clockwise, then, minus 128 kN times ilan to? 200. From here to the center is 200. Tama? So, 128 times 200. Minus siya kasi counterclockwise yung ikot. Dito is clockwise. Dito is counterclockwise. So, 3,200 kN meter. Yan ang ating value ng moment. After that, uh, kunin natin yung mga... Uh, ano ba yung susunod na step? Di ba? Kunin mo yung summation x squared plus y squared. So, before that, kailangan mong kunin ang coordinates ng bawat rivets natin. So, kung titignan mo dito, same C, 1, 2, 5, and 6. So, yan. Diba? 90, 100. Symmetrical siya. 90, 100, 90, 100, 90, 100. So, 90, 100, 90, 100. Sa 3 is 90, 0. Dahil hindi naman siya umangat, hindi siya bumaba. 90, 0 ulit sa 4. 90, 100 sa 5. And 90, 100 sa 6. So, ganyan lang yan. Napakadali. Yan. Ulitin ko, hindi ko na sinama yung negative sign dahil hindi naman siya kailangan uh, sa ating pagsosolve. So, yan. So, summation x squared plus y squared. Ilang beses lumabas ang 90 sa x? Sa x lang, ha? X, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Tatlong beses. Uh, 6 na beses. Kaya 90 squared times 6 plus 100 squared na 4 times lumabas sa y place. Sa y. So, 100 squared times 4 is equal to 88,600 square millimeters. Hindi ko ata nalagay yung square millimeter dun sa unang problem. So, ilagay nyo na lang para hindi nyo, para alam nyo kung ano yung uh, units nitong summation of x squared plus y squared. And next, kunin mo si P double prime x and P double prime y with this formula. So, m r y over summation of x squared plus y squared. m is given, ah, uh, solved na 3,200. r y is, kung titignan nyo, ang r y dyan is yung 100. Dito, 100 tas 100. So, 100 siya. Over 88,600. 3.61 kN yung sagot. So, p double prime y naman is equal to m r x over summation of x squared plus y squared. 3,200 Times, uh, Rx is the, huh? Rx is, ito, 180 divided by 2. So, 90. 90 over 88,600. Uh, it will give an answer of 3.25 kilonewtons. After that, uh, P double prime X and P double prime Y, kunin natin yung value ng P double prime. Uh, gamit ang Pythagorean theorem. So, 3.61 squared plus 3.25 squared square root. Uh, given ang, uh, makukuha nyo yung sagot ng 4.86 kN. And lastly, ang kinahanap natin is uh, shear stress due to moment alone. So, FV is equal to P double prime over A. Yan. So, 4.86 as an cursor. 4.86 times 1,000 to convert to newton. And pi over 4 times 22 squared. 
equals to 12.79 MPa. That is your final answer in number 3. So, yan. Lastly, uh, pinakahuli is yung combined load and moment. Shear stress, shear stress due to combined load and moment. So, given the formula, P is equal to square root of P prime X plus P double prime X squared plus P prime Y plus P double prime Y squared. Uh, hindi ko pa nasusolve ang P prime X and P prime Y. I-solve muna natin siya. So, kuha tayo ng isang, uh, manghiram tayo ng isang rivet dito, si rivet. Yan. Ang, ang resisting force ng rivet na to is pangyan. So, i-resist niya yung 160k uh, and eccentric load na pababa. So, pataas ito. Then, 160k and, yan yung P prime ha. P prime, inulik ko lang, 26.67 kN. Ang ating, ang mag -re resist naman dito sa horizontal na to is ito. 128 divided by 6 is equal to 21.33. Yan yung P prime X. And then yung P prime Y naman is 96 divided by 6, which is 16 kN. So yan, kompleto na. May P prime X, may P prime Y, may P double prime X at may P double prime Y na. So yan, isasalpak nyo lang lahat dyan. So 21.33, 3.61 si P double prime X, 16 si P P prime Y at P double prime Y is 3.25. Final answer will be 31. Ah, hindi pa pala to final answer. P pa lang ito, 31.51 kN. So, ang inarap natin is yung shear stress due to combined load and moment. So, combined load and moment, FV, is equal to P over A. 31.51 times 1,000 to convert to newtons. All over pi over 4, 22 squared. Is equal to 82.89 MPa. That will be your final answer. So, yan. Ayun. So, tapos na. Uh, sana nagets gets nyo yung kung paano mag-solve ng ganitong mga problems. Sa susunod na topic natin is welded connections. Same lang. Ang mangyayari, may ganitong procedure rin na may eccentricity ang ating isosolve. So, after that, after welded connections, if ever may, uh, may ano pa tayo, may, uh, uh, free hours pa tayo, free, free time pa tayo sa ibang, sa ating subject na study design is magbibigay pa ako ng bagong topic, if ever lang ha. So, yun lang. Thank you!